The author of Bleach, Taitai Kubo, gives Anime Expo an exclusive message to overseas fans. So exclusive to overseas fans, in fact, that only the people that could experience it are those at the exhibit. You blew it. Thanks, Viz. So, to experience this message, hit that like and subscribe button to keep up to date to all things Bleach related. Opera GX has been awesome enough to sponsor today's video, allowing me to show you why this browser is one designed specifically for gamers. When it comes to customization, Opera GX is ahead of the curve, giving you a streamlined ability to choose special themes, wallpapers, and even your own background from scratch. For example, this Chainsaw Man and Hatsune Miku wallpaper. With the ability to use the easy setup feature, you can quickly switch between themes, colors, and choose your own background, as well as fully customising your home screen for your weather and quick suggestions. It even has a built-in ad blocker. But what's cool for me in particular is that I like to multitask while either script writing or web browsing in general, but I also like watching videos while I do those things. A great feature that I use is the video pop-out. It is just so extremely convenient to watch a video I like pop up on the front of the screen to move and resize and stay there instead of consistently tabbing back and forth. However, if you're also a music fan, you can play your favourite playlists and if you come across a video or audio that you wish to listen to at the same time, that playlist you're listening to will automatically stop and resume once you've finished. It's basically a win-win and it's simple to convert as well. There is an import tool that allows you to transfer all your settings and all your saved information such as your cookies or your bookmarks at the click of a button. So why don't you give it a shout, make sure to click in the link in the description down below to try out this convenient browser and also save your PC some RAM usage at the same time for a smoother browsing experience. So once again, shout outs to Opera GX for today's video. So let's talk about some news. Bleach finally has updated its manga numbers from 120 million to 130 million copies sold, which considering that this was last updated in 2018, 10 million copies in four years isn't that bad considering the lack of reprinting in the western market. I can only imagine the increase in sales once the anime is airing. Do you guys like the Bleach Hellverse movie? I know, random question, but hear me out, because interestingly enough, this movie is having a anniversary edition theoretical placeholder listing for August 25th, 2020. Now this would be fine, except there's a little bit of a controversy in regarding to the runtime for this placeover, as it is an hour longer than the original film. Now for me, I think that it's just a placeholder time and nothing really too much to think of. But I spoke to a few people in the industry to get a better insight and hear some possibilities. It can be either remastered, it can have extra content, or it could just be wording to celebrate the anniversary. And there's also the possibility that it is just in fact the movie and a Q&A after the movie, and in this case, it would be a pre-taped interview considering that it's only in America at the moment. Considering our next talking point, a remastering is quite possible even though it doesn't really need it. But I guess I'll leave that theory in the discussion down below. So with that being said, Japan is finally releasing its own version of the Blu-ray box sets. This was shown during an advertisement during the first of the 13 best Bleach episodes by the online poll. As I watched this time slot at the time, if the episode of what I saw was in fact the episode from the Blu-ray box and all I can say is that I'm extremely impressed because it looked crisp and it looked clear. Not to mention, bear in mind that the episodes that I was watching were zoomed in to fit the 16x9 format. Now obviously this was only for the TV version and will stay in its original 4x3 ratio as intended and as the advert shows on the screen. Now interestingly enough though, these boxes have a whole total of three Blu-ray boxes fitting the whole series on them that not only hold about 50 plus episodes on them, one even has 70 plus, but seemingly don't include any of the filler arcs or episodes, so I'm interested to see if they will be editing out any filler characters within those episodes too, but we'll have to wait and see what they do with that. Now that we got the nitty gritties out of the way, let's talk about Kubo's comments right after the promotional video that we saw from Anime Expo. <laughs> Kubo drew the Thousand Year Blood War arc when it was decided the original anime series would end. As unfortunate as it was at the time, I'm glad we got more context on the time of this event, as we know it takes months to make an anime episode. So it's good that we got confirmation that Kubo was telling the team how the Fullbrink arc would end was in line with this recent information. And let's be honest, would you really want tons of filler arcs in between the Blood War story anyway? I didn't think so. <laughs>
While the original television series of Bleach was airing, Kubo was drawing the manga with TV guidelines and restrictions in mind. So he didn't go out for various things such as battle scenes. I think it's really unfortunate that this was the case. You can really see the raw intention of early Bleach and even the artistic value Kubo bought, especially within the Soul Society arc. Considering the censorship we saw later on within the series, even though most mundane silly edits were made, I can understand why Kubo would maybe subsidize in what he would find acceptable for TV. But it does however make the imagination flow on what precisely got stolen from us and how many more interactions and battles were made lackluster because of those guidelines in mind. <laughs> That being said, Kubo was able to draw the Thousand Year Blood War arc without having to worry about any of those restrictions in mind. Instead, his worries was if scenes would ever be too heavy and the chance that it was ever animated, and he didn't want them being cut from that said anime. With that being said, he is confident that this arc will be animated faithfully without those heavy scenes being cut. And hearing something like that is a Bleach fan's dream. I mean, anime aside, you can really tell from the first part of the war that it feels, well, like a war. I say first half, as we know the second half of Kubo was facing some health issues, ultimately rushing the story by a few years. But it is still insane to even hear that things from the Blood War arc were removed, such as Yamamoto vs Yuach and more screen time on something like the Bambietta goals. While I loved the story with Komamura and it still drove the point, it did feel really quick, so any more driving force added will be much appreciated. And honestly, Bambietta needs more screen time, and you can't tell me otherwise. It seems to me we will truly see the closest form of Kubo's writing to its absolute faithful adaption. Given chapters 480 to 686 alone, adaptated would be about a good year of content, so considering the amount of extra content Kubo wants to add is very reassuring to say that we'll go beyond that year. The question is, can the animation hold up, or will it fumble? Now, to put the cherry on top of this video in a nice little bow, surely if you've watched anime enough you would know that usually the last promotional video is one with the opening song teased. But it is, in fact, good to know that on the character designer Masashi Kudo's fan box, he basically confirmed that this was in fact true. Then again, specifying calling it PV1 wasn't exactly hiding the fact either. I'll be doing a video discussing everything of what we know about the production of the Bleach anime and where we currently stand. So, if you haven't already, please subscribe so you can be notified of when that video drops. With that being said, you guys, of course, have this fine David Hansen, and as always, people, peace out. <laughs>